It's a classic first suburbs community. We had a lot of development immediately after World War II in the late 1940s and 1950s. Much of the development was subsidized by the federal government and those development funds went to build virtually all of the infrastructure, roads, sewers, water lines, schools, culverts, anything that was associated with public infrastructure was done with those development dollars. The funding that was available back in the 19, 1950s and 1960s from both the state and federal government is no longer available today. We generate approximately $5 million a year in revenue. Most of that money goes toward providing services, police, fire, parks, snow removal, waste collection, all of the things that people expect on a day-to-day -day basis. Recently, City Council increased taxes in order to pay for some of the infrastructure projects that we have facing us. Obviously, that wasn't a very popular decision with the community, but it was something that had to be done because they also did not want us to reduce the, the amount of services that we were providing. First suburbs like Madeira are finding out that the roads and sewers laid down years ago with government support are worn out and need to be repaired. This is a, uh, a very large stormwater culvert that drains about two-thirds of Madeira. Um, see there's a lot of damage up here, some damage occurring up here. This is where it's starting to seep and that seam is going to go. While it seems to be minor, it shows some slippage between the sections of a the pipe. Uh, there's actually a lot more damage in the front, um, but the potential is in a heavy storm that these, these sections will actually separate and collapse. We've seen that happen in other areas. And with the volume of water that comes through here, uh, we could lose this section very easily. And then what happens is that we get a very significant flooding condition, which would have an impact on the roadway, an impact on downstream properties, and potentially uh, an impact on upstream properties. Well, we're looking at between half a million and a million dollars. 